Люди, они вот. дадят газ. Начинают вниз из мафии Африка. Hi, my name is Tudor Panduru. I, uh, I'm a cinematographer from Romania. And I'm here representing the film RMN, the new film of Christian Munjiu. The movie talks about this multi-ethnical village somewhere in Transylvania. But at the same time, it hits some important topics of uh, globalization or about where we stand as human beings. The biggest uh, challenge was for me to expose in a way and light in a way to be able to see in the darkness. And for the film and for Christian, it was important to have this step of darkness because uh, in the darkness, the unknown starts to exist. If we're talking about the beginning of the film when Matthias is coming back to the village, there are like a couple of shots that are defining the, the look of the night scenes afterwards in the film. And it's a combination between sodium lamps and also darkness of the night that I try to recreate with like a blue tint and with a black that is not so crushed and a bit more soft. From the point of view of the lighting, it was quite complex because I had to lit for the top part of the curve in a way that I could separate every gradient from the deepest black. The LXL LF was really helpful also when it comes to exposure because I had the possibility to rate the sensor at 1600 ISO and having still good information in the black and earning one stop sometimes in the highlights, which for the night scenes were quite helpful. But mainly we shot with the easy rig uh, because we have a lot of tracking, uh, like following shots. So for me, it's important to be free and to be able to, I don't know, to react to everything that happens in the shot. Yes, I'm doing the camera all the time. I prefer to be in contact with the actors and to feel the rhythm of the scene. Because I think an important thing in cinema is the rhythm and I know Christian uh, is careful of how he creates the mise-en-scene. So I'm trying to be as much as possible in his help. And sometimes things can change or uh, the actors could react differently or change the rhythm. And I, had, I have all the time to be flexible and pretty love to be put in this kind of uh, situation where I have to react. I think it's... Uh, it's a pleasure, it's a big pleasure of camera operating in general. Yeah, when, when you shoot large format, uh, you have a lot of advantages. For example, when it comes to wide landscape, I think the LF is the best choice. We composed a lot of shots horizontally, so uh, we played with the, with the depth and we needed sometimes more depth of field to have all the characters in focus because uh, Christian likes to play a lot with the depth and the mise-en-scene somehow comes from foreground to background. As a spectator, you need the freedom of looking everywhere on the screen to have the capacity and the possibility to see all the small nuances that the actors are doing in the shot. So the result of the shots shooting with this large format were great for us. I chose the lens through testing and for me, the signature primes were the best choice. I liked a lot how the signature primes were rendering the flares and also the way that the blacks were drawn on the image. I have this interest of creating an image as close as possible to film and I expose for that and I rely on the Alexa sensor when it comes to exposing specifically in a way to achieve this.